Hello everyone, welcome to HJ Programming Solutions. So in today's video, we are going to see what is at the rate component annotation. Okay, so let's just go to the STS first and let me just create the project. So to create the project in the STS, first go to the file, then new project. And here we have to select the spring starter project. Now you can give the name. So let me just give the name of the project, maybe uh, Spring Boot Demo Project. And uh, here also the same Spring Boot Demo. And here I will just give the demo. And the same I will just copy and give in the package okay then click on the next so from here you can select the required dependencies okay so for now we don't need any dependency so i will just click on the next then click on the finish so your project will get created okay so the project we have created is this one the spring boot demo okay if i open the project it's still uh, creating okay so let's just wait for completion of this so now our project is created and see here we have source main java folder and in this java folder we have one main uh, file okay which is spring boot demo application dot java if i open this file see here this is the main method okay so from here our application will get started now we want to understand what is at the rate component annotation right so this is just a simple spring boot project we have created we have not added any dependencies also if we go to the pom.xml file you will see that we don't have any dependencies here okay only the default dependencies which will get added is spring boot starter dependency and the another one is spring boot starter test dependency okay so these are the default dependencies which will be there in our pom.xml file we have not added any dependency okay now we will understand what is at the rate component annotation okay if i go to the presentation here see here what is the at the rate component annotation so this annotation indicate that the annotated class is a component okay and now whenever we are using at the rate component annotation so very first thing is that we will be using this annotation at a class level okay and whenever we are writing at the rate component uh, above any class that indicate that this class is a component okay now if we are annotating the class with at the rate component meaning is that that class will be considered as a candidate for auto detection when using the annotation based configuration and class path scanning means if we are annotating the class with at the rate component then spring will create the bean for that class and that bean will get managed by the spring itself because we are annotating it with the at the rate component annotation okay now let's understand how if i go to the sts okay and here let me just create one package and i will give the package name maybe controller and inside this controller package let me just create one class and I will just give the class name as maybe a demo controller. Okay, very simple controller I am just writing here. The name I have given as a demo controller. Okay, now inside this controller, what I want, I want to write uh, one very simple method. Let's suppose a public a string and hello. Okay, and what this method will do? It will just return you a hello string. So, hello spring boot. Okay, this is very simple method which is just returning you the string. Okay, now 
what I want, I want to uh, call this method. Okay, so from where I can call this method, I can go to our uh, main uh, class, which is this one, the Spring Boot demo application, and from here we can call the uh, call this method, which we have created in our demo controller. Okay, now if I go to the main method, inside this main method we have the run method. Okay, now if you see here, if I just do command one and assign a statement okay to this uh, variable see here this run method what it is returning you this run method is returning configurable application context okay so from the run method we are getting configurable uh, application context okay so i will just give here the name context okay now by using this context what we can do we can get the beans right so for example now I, what i want i just want to call this method right so if i want to call the method what we can do first we can create the object of this demo controller right so if i go here and create the object like demo controller then uh, controller is equal to new demo controller okay and if i just call maybe controller dot uh, what was the method name method name was let me just see the method name here hello right so we can just call here hello okay and what i can do i can just put this in our system dot out dot println statement so you just write sys out and just write that uh, method call which is controller dot hello method okay now if i save okay and right click and run this project as a java application it will get started here okay see here the project is started and i am getting hello spring boot which i have written in my uh, demo controller hello method okay but if you see in our Spring Boot demo application, what I am doing here, I am creating the object of this demo controller class by myself. Okay. But if I don't want to create this object by myself and I want the Spring to create the object for this demo controller or create the bean for this demo controller, then what we can do? We can just go in the demo controller and annotate this demo controller class with at the rate component annotation okay now if i am annotating with the at the rate component annotation what will happen this demo controller will be considered for the like a spring will consider this demo controller and create the bean of this class automatically okay so we don't have to create the bean or we don't have to create this object by ourselves using new keyword okay so now what we can do i can just remove this object creation from here okay and now if i uh, what is the error here the local variable may not have been initialized okay so now here what happened i i cannot write this way right so previously what we did if you see we have created the demo controller object by ourselves by using new keyword but now i don't want to create it i want spring to create the object for me right so for that what i can do i can just remove this one okay and i already annotated this demo controller with at the rate component annotation okay now if we have annotated with at the rate component let's just go to our main class and here i want to get the bean of that demo controller so how i can get the bin from this context right so here what we can do context dot get bean okay we have the get bean method see here there are different get beans method so we will be using this method so that we can get the bean of the demo controller okay so let me just use get bean and here i will just pass the class name for which class i want the bean i want the bean for demo controller class okay so now here i will get the bean now let me just assign a variable here so assign statement to new local variable and this is my demo controller right so now 
if you see here we have not created the bean using new keyword what happened here the spring created the bean for this demo controller and why it will create because we have annotated it with the at the rate component annotation okay now here i got my demo controller bean so i can use here that demo controller okay and then i can call the hello now what will happen if the bean is created by the spring then this demo controller dot hello method will get called right so if we go to the hello method inside the hello we have hello spring boot so hello spring boot will get printed okay and if the bean is not initialized or bean is not created by the spring then what will happen this demo controller will be null and we will get the null pointer exception okay so now if i save and rerun the project okay so project is running again see here again we are getting hello spring boot okay why because the bean is created but now let's suppose if we go to the demo controller and if i remove at the red component annotation from here if i save this and rerun the project see here what happened we are getting no such a bean definition exception if i maximize this i just i will just do this one see here we are getting the exception what exception no such a bean definition exception and what it is saying no qualifying bean of type com dot aj programming dot demo dot controller demo controller available which means it is saying that no such a bean definition exception for this demo controller okay and why we are getting this because we have not added at the rate component annotation right so here if you go to main method what we are doing here we are using this demo controller right we are asking spring to get the bean for the demo controller right so it will go to the demo controller and this demo controller is not annotated with at the rate component so this class is not eligible for the auto scanning or auto detection right so here this uh, demo controller bean will not be created by the spring if we want to create it by spring we need to tell the spring explicitly by writing at the rate component annotation right now if i write at the rate component and if i rerun the application see here we will not get any issue perfectly we are getting the output hello spring boot right so this way we can use at the rate component annotation i hope this is clear what is at the rate component right now let's go to our presentation one more time and now try to understand it right i hope it is very simple so very first one if we are writing at the rate component annotation it means that is a component and second is if we are annotating the class with at the rate component meaning is that that class will be considered as a candidate for auto detection when using annotation based configuration and class path scanning here we are using annotation based configuration right because if you if you see in the sts we are just doing the annotation based configuration right so at the rate component annotation means spring will create the bean for us and the spring will manage that bean okay if you want to get the bean you can use get bean method and then by using this you can just call the whatever method you need right so this is the example of at the rate component annotation i hope it is clear to you if you have any questions please mention in the comment section if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you